Welcome to part two of Yeah, It's Red and our setup of a Chinese version of a motorcycle GPS. I have the unit mounted on my motorcycle here, as you can see, and it's in a good spot, line of sight. When I turn on the ignition, this unit will fire up and go through the process. It takes about a minute before it gets all fired up and finds its satellites. And I can show my map. There we go. Route options. Well, you could create a route on the unit, or you could do more. You could load a route. And I have loaded a few of places that I wanted to go to. So you can select certain routes that you've already done. So I'm going to show you how to do that, how to prepare a route, and load it onto your GPS. The easiest way I found to do this, to load a route, is actually pop the card out of the unit, put it in my adapter, set this aside, and plug it into my computer. Now, planning a route. For a Mac, what I found was a uh, a motorcycle uh, route planner called Moto Go Loco and this is what it looks like here on my screen it's based out of the United Kingdom no worries it can deal with local routes so what does one have to do you put in your starting location well, I happen to be based in Stratford, Ontario. There it is, Stratford, Ontario, Canada. And now, bingo, brings me. So where do I want to go? Well, the other thing I use is a Canada Atlas. I find that's a little bit easier to deal with. Uh, larger footprint. And I will choose places where I'd like to go. So, um, let's go up to Tobermory up here. So my end place is Tobermory. Ontario finds it. Bingo. So it has drawn a map. That's pretty straightforward. But maybe I want to go via a different route. Uh, so I can put in Goderich, Ontario, and it's remapped it. You can see that. Uh, and maybe I want to go via Hanover. So. Let's put that over and over Ontario, there. So I have put in my waypoints. Um, it's almost four hours, so it is stipulated how long all my points and the distances. So I'm going to save this. It's loading, it takes a moment to save. Oh, it is asking for, I've had to register on that, so I had to put in my username and my password. I've done that. Now I'm going to call this a route, so I'll say this is a day run. Call it that. Next. Next. 
And I'm going to save it. All right, now I need to export this file. So there's an export. I gotta save, export it to my computer. I have to decide what format. And the format I need for this version is a KML, not a GPX. GPX is more for Garmin. A KML is sort of like a TomTom. -tom. So that is what I'm going to select. I'm gonna select that there. It'll save it to my download file. I will go to downloads. There's my day run. And this is what I got to do. I have selected my day run. I found it in my downloads. I'm going to load it into my micro disk goes into my untitled folder, goes into content, and then you're going to have to create a directory called user data. I put it in there, then I put it into route, and it is in there, day run. So now we're going to eject this. Take this out. I put it I'll put it in my unit. Go. Fired up. It's going to load in here automatically. Load my program. You're going to also have to rename it on your GPS as well. So Road options. I want more. I want to load a route. And now I gotta find it. So let's see where it is. my last one in here. I'm going to click it. Press go. There it's mapped my route and start. Now I want to rename it. So I'll go back to menu. I'm going to go more. Go back. Road options. I'm going to cancel this route. I always get this mixed up. So I will be back in a second here. I have to load it back again. I keep doing this. Load the route. You also have a, a button here called uh, remove, remove waypoints, so that's excellent if you are coming into a town and you, uh, you've, you've actually routed it into the center of the town but you don't want to go in there, you can press that button and it'll bypass that. Route options. Okay, so now I have 
save the route save the route and I'm going to give it a new name and I'm going to call it Tobermory via Hanover so I've done that so it's renamed press done okay so I can go to more I can load the route and it there it is it comes up at the bottom Tobermory via Hanover so that's the basic instructions for this. Have a good time. Thanks for watching.